Hello guys, today I want to tell you everything about route model binding, which is this syntax. So in the controller method, instead of passing the parameter like ID, you can pass the object of the model and specifically type hint the model class. Then Laravel will magically find the product by its ID from the URL. So if in your URL you have products slash one, then Laravel will magically know that it's the product with ID one. So how does it all work? How can we customize that and where else can we use that? So this is usually used in the controllers which are called resource controllers. So for example, like show or edit, for example, you could do the same. So copy paste, edit the product and then do something like this for the edit form. And it's actually the same thing, the shorter syntax for thing that you would do with ID like this. So ID, for example, you have a parameter with resource controller, by the way, in the routes web, we have route resource, right? So route resource show method is for showing the resource. And then you would do product equals product find or fail ID. So this would be the same result the product would be found by ID. And if it's not found, then 404 page would be shown not found. And then that product variable is passed to the view. So route model binding is just the shorter syntax for finding by ID. So let's roll back common Z like this. So this is shorter, shorter controller. So you don't need to call find or fail manually. And you also don't need to generate that manually. If you want to have resource controller like this one, you can do in the terminal. For example, let's try to generate that controller for another resource, which is category for us. PHP artisan make controller category controller dash dash resource dash dash model equals category. And let's see what we have here. So now we're searching for category controller, which should have been generated. And look what we have here. First dash dash resource automatically creates the seven methods, the typical resource controller methods, which is index, create, store, show, edit, update, and destroy. And look what we have here in the show. So Laravel automatically route model binds the category model in show, edit, update, and destroy here, and also adds that automatically in here. So you don't need to do that manually, you can create it while creating your controller. But that works not only with resource controller, you can bind anything here, like if we copy and paste show into, for example, export of the product, and then we define the URL in routes web to route get products, for example, product export to product controller class, product controller class and method export right? So the main thing is for this product name to be the same as this variable name. And if we type hint the product Laravel will automatically try to find that product. So let's try it out product export by product. And if we type in the URL product slash one slash export, like this, we have products export not found because we haven't created the view. But this was actually successful. And if we try to have some an existing ID, it will show 404 not found. So it actually finds the product by ID. And actually, as a proof of that, let's do DD product here. So the product is found with the original dummy data. So you can use route model binding specifically for some route like this, even without resource controllers. Also, you can easily customize what field to search for. So by default, it is ID field. But what if you don't want to expose the ID in the URLs and instead you want to have products by slug, for example, this is a fake data. So what if you want this to be part of the URL, for example, products slash slug slash export. And of course, it's not found now. But how do we define the route key instead of ID being something else? So you can do that manually for specific route. So for example, in routes web, you can specify product slug like this. And then it successfully finds that product. Well, the view is still not here. We haven't created, but it finds the product. So that's how you can do that manually. Or you can define the route key specifically for the whole model. So for the product model, you just add a function get route 
key name and you just return slug for example like this and then you don't need to define it anywhere here and that would automatically work for specific route gets or for the whole resource controller so if we refresh now no error here and also if we go to the show method so product slash id without export it's not found by id but if we copy and paste the slug it is found by slug so you can override the id search for the whole model or specifically for a specific route finally you may want to specify the behavior for missing 404 not found what if you don't like the default behavior and this is a general laravel tip outside of route model binding but we will use it in this case you can define a thing called route missing so on any of the route if the 404 page is on that route specifically you can add missing and that missing actually let's put it on new line missing accepts a callback function so function and then you can do whatever here return view for example products not found something like this we don't have that view yet but i will show you that it works so instead of that 404 now it's trying to find the view products not found of course we don't have it but you can define that behavior in route missing doesn't matter if you use route model binding or not in any case of find or fail the missing will be triggered that's it for this time short overview of route model binding to make your code a bit shorter and if you want more tips like this one on this channel subscribe to the channel help me to get to 100,000 subscribers and also support my premium products financially then i will have more free time not to market those products but to make more videos on this youtube channel so the things that you see on the screen live wire kit quick admin panel and my courses on teachable see you guys in other videos